Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to episode number one um, of Daily Refinement. I've been thinking for a long time about what I want my channel to be about. And what I want my channel to be about is just making progress daily. Um, and one of the main things to make progress daily is to get a good assessment of where you are right now. Um, so as you guys know, my channel is mainly talking about selling stuff online. Um, but also, you know, I have had over 500 hours of video online, over 500 hours. And in those hours, I have discovered a lot of stuff. I've made a lot of mistakes. Uh, I want to go over those mistakes with you guys right now, just to get an idea of where you are and then try to make improvements. And the three improvements that I want to go over today are um, figuring out exactly where you are and just trying to be as accurate and honest as possible. Um, and then the second thing is, to just speak from your own experience. Okay, so try to just speak from your own experience. And then thirdly, um, focus on what's important. And these are the three things I wanna go over today. Uh, and I also wanna go over um, my last year in review doing social media online, and I'm excited. So let's get straight into it. Um, the first thing is, um, this is quite embarrassing, but I definitely wanna start with this, which is, um, I did not know what the confederate flag was okay and actually i know what the confederate flag was but i didn't know what a dixie flag was um so i went garage sailing with my friend right and um a female friend and this is just my experience so nothing to do with her this is the shirt i don't know if you guys can see this it's me wearing a confederate flag shirt um of a woman on all fours and it says Southern style. It is like ridiculously offensive. It's may maybe the most offensive shirt I've ever seen. Actually, in retrospect, now looking at it, I found it at a garage sale. It says, I don't know if you, if you guys can see that image. You guys can see that image online. Let me know in chat if you can see it. But um, it is literally one of the most offensive shirts I have ever seen, okay? I did not know what a Dixie flag was. Literally, I was at the garage sale, he had a whole bunch of shirts and one of them one of them was this um i i went home i was going to talk about um i was going to talk about my garage sale finds and i was wearing that shirt because i found it at the garage at the time i was wearing the stuff that i found it's joanna in the chat says that it's funny it's really it's extremely insensitive right i didn't know so i went to the garage sale um with a lady she didn't she's this is just coincidence she's from the south and didn't she didn't like immediately notice that it was offensive. She was, she just shrugged her, you know, like, like nothing then. Okay. This is crazy. This, this, um, shirt that I was wearing, I was an interview. Okay. So I was doing an interview with my friend on YouTube. He is on the East coast in the South. He didn't say anything. I'm wearing, I'm wearing a shirt. We're on YouTube. We're public figures. We know how sensitive everything is, how politically charged everything is. I'm wearing maybe the most offensive shirt I've ever seen. And he didn't, he didn't point it out. We, he didn't even make one comment. He didn't say, look, you're wearing a Confederate flag with a woman in a doggy style position. He didn't even mention that in the video. We didn't, I did, I had I, obviously in retrospect, I can recognize that's unbelievably offensive. Okay. And it's definitely going to trend. Um, I deleted the video literally as soon as it posted. Cause I, somebody called me and was like, yo, this is maybe the most offensive thing ever. This is my early YouTube career. I had no idea. Right. So that is not acceptable whatsoever. So I was wearing a Dixie. I didn't even know what a Dixie flag was, but now I know it's a Confederate flag in case you guys are just arriving. This is the image. It's really ridiculously offensive and I get it. And, and it was in the same era where like in that, in a different video, I'm wearing all camo because I thrifted full camo gear, right? This is when I was doing haul videos. Um, okay. So that brings to light that I really need to avoid being like, I need to be careful, right? Obviously I'm a public figure. There's a lot of people watching, uh, the last video I explained that I screwed up in the second topic, which is I, um, you know, it's, it's very politically charged. I brought up, um, women of color. Um, I talked about women's point of view, women's preferences. That is a no, no. If you're on social media and you want to ruin your life, you should talk about, um, that kind of stuff, especially in an inappropriate manner, like myself, that is going to be insane. Right? So if you talk about that, that's really, really, really bad. Okay. So 
if you guys want to, and I don't want to be like that. Okay. So I'm trying to change. I'm looking at all the things I did over the wrong and, and there is a list. Somebody compiled a list to send to me of all the things that I've done wrong. Save me a whole bunch of time. They're like, Chris, you've given 500 hours of good value, but here are the things that you did that it pissed people off and made people leave your corner. Um, so, if you guys can appreciate this and you think that uh, I'm moving in the right direction, please hit the like button. I'm just going to go over all the things I've done bad, and then you guys can. Uh, of course, you're going to make some judgments because of it, but I just want to own up to it. This is episode number one of my new podcast where I go over more, you know, lifestyle, lifestyle stuff. I'll do reselling too. I'm not going to stop making videos, although I thought about it, okay? Because um, YouTube makes me maybe 50 grand a year. It's a lot. It's a full-time income. YouTube is a, is a very high income. And I considered not doing it at all and just reselling, okay? Because $50,000 for me reselling is it's just one more person helping me, right? And if I had one more person helping me, I wouldn't even need that one other person because I spend 20 to 30 hours a week making videos for you guys, right? I think about what I want to talk about. I go over a whole bunch of stuff um, and it's ridiculous. So appreciate you, Loretta, saying I need a PR person. I agree. Um, and I'm going to, and this is great because yesterday, um, after a whole bunch of problems, I had a bunch of very nice people, um, explain to me why things were insensitive. So that's fantastic. Thank you to everyone who spent the time um, explaining to me how to talk because you have to be very careful. So obviously um, I shouldn't speak as a woman. The next part is a house mom, right? So like I didn't know this term was derogatory. I didn't know that. I didn't know the term house mom is negative or derogatory. It, it, and it's, it's even trending right now. If you guys want, there are people making merch shirts, um, merch shirts with house mom, right? And that's a, that's a new thing right now. Um, I didn't know it was derogatory. Um, the, I think the exact conversation was around, I say I don't go to the Goodwill bins because house moms eat first i think that was the comment i made which is it, it's insensitive right i'm not supposed to i i recognize now that that is not a good way to put it and i'm still not familiar with the correct term i don't know the pc version of that maybe i should just say mom or but or just say nothing at all i'm not sure because that's that was just my experience um i went to the goodwill outlet um and it was it was hard. I, I couldn't. I couldn't get anything. I was trying to walk around. Um, there were people that were crushing it, you know. So I, I wasn't able to. I, I got nothing. That's why I originally got into pallets. You guys knew me when I first started. I was buying pallets from Goodwill, and um, I didn't realize that. I don't know the right term for house mom. Uh, oh, okay. So someone is saying. Um, oh, I see. So I said. Uh, I, I said I was hiring women because, or house house moms. I was hiring house moms. Sorry, this is going to be tough. I'm trying my best to be politically correct here. I was hiring house moms to find an income at home. Whatever, it was wrong. I, I, I it was totally screwed up. And I was maybe oh, I get it. I was specifically maybe looking for that person. I can see where that that, that that's an issue. Okay, so I get it. I made a mistake. That's not the right way to do it. Stay. Oh, Linda is saying stay at home mom is the correct term. Okay, so I didn't know that. Stay at home mom is the correct term. Um, I, I don't know. I, I don't even know if that's the correct term. That's the current correct term inside here. I'm gonna avoid that because I don't know. I don't know what it is, and it's it's very politically charged. And I'm just gonna avoid. Um, it's it's not a good topic, so I'm just gonna avoid talking about that. Um, people. I'm just gonna say people. I don't know. Um, when I look for people to work for me, um, I'm going to make a list of activities that I want them to do, which I'm going over in all my other videos. And then you can take that video. Um, I mean, you can, you can, uh, I can see if the person can do those tasks. That's how I'm going to hire in the future. Um, okay, cool. So stay at home mom. That's the term. So I apologize. That was extremely insensitive. I even made it. I said that in the last video and the, and the lady said, what the, is a house mom that was the comment right and then um right i, I didn't realize that and then uh, I, th I i thought it was a, a mom who's at home that was the interpret that's that's what i was that's what i was saying um but then somebody wrote um i'm a house dad right and actually 
now I, I'm uncomfortable with that verbiage also, right? How's dad? So I don't know. That was a weird situation. But then a lady said, um, if the worst part of being your day is being called a house mom, then you had a great day because being a mom is hard, right? So that's if that's the worst part of your day, then you had a great day. And I don't know if I agree with that. I just thought it was funny to lighten up the mood. Somebody said that on there. So I'm not going to, there is no proper term for that. So there, I'm not going to make up a term for that. So that's just, that is what it is. Okay. There's a lot. I made a lot of mistakes in the last year and a half on YouTube. And I just want to go over all of these things. Um, here's another one. Okay. I said, uh, I don't know the exact verbiage, but along the lines of if you are omnivore, so you eat meat and vegetables, and then you convert to being vegan, right? You gain a cup size. I am not speaking from personal experience. I don't know that. Okay. I just heard that one of my friends that it happened to her. So she told me that's what happened to her. So I mentioned it. And then uh, I got these messages saying, Hey, um, that is, um, awesome. I, uh, well, for when I, I don't remember when I said it, but I said, basically, if you're an omnivore and you switch to being a vegan, you will gain a cup size. That's what I said. Not from personal experience. I just heard this from a friend who who had that experience. I got all this inflow of messages saying, um, what kind of vegan did she switch to? I want to try. Why not? Or that did not happen to me. I did that exact same thing. I didn't gain a cup size. You're, that's, that doesn't make sense. Okay. So I didn't know. Um, I don't know, but I, I recognize that is not a good topic to talk about. So I will not be doing that. That popped up in a video about me. Um, and it's true. I definitely said that. I, and I think, I think I said it was very close to if you are an omnivore and switch to being vegan, um, you will gain a cup size. And then somebody clarified, they said, Chris, no, it's not just a cup size. You gain it everywhere because sometimes you eat um, more grain. So it can happen. You can gain weight. It's a, it's a, it happens when you gain weight. And I was like, okay. Um, so I, I didn't know. And originally when I heard that comment happen, my friend told me that that she had that experience. My guy friend, right, also had the same experience. He's like, I don't wear a bra, but I definitely got way heavier. I, so I don't know if it was a cup size or not, but I got much heavier after converting from um, eating meat to just being vegan. So I don't know. So I'm sorry. That is not that is not me. I'm not representing. That is not good. Okay, so I take full responsibility for that situation. I'm not mocking it. I'm just saying it's insensitive, right? That's not a good situation. You don't want to talk about that. I look, if you think about how many people I'm involving with that vegans, vegetarians, women, and guy, a guy that had the same experience, not good. Okay. Um, next thing was, and this, this is, to, this is definitely wrong. So I used, um, I used Nicole state as clickbait, right? Um, I, I was, I was looking at this, this, um, this, explanation on a lot of the top youtubers and they actually have two titles they have one title that has nothing to do with the video and then they have a, a second title that is the video right so i put together one of the best reselling videos that i did right and i titled it we need to talk about nicole state now okay because that was how the guy recommended you do it he said if you want to try one of these clickbait titles do it in this format so i tried it i tried doing that just as an experiment it's wrong, 100% wrong. There's nothing wrong. I mean, there's nothing, there's no, um, there is no, um, there's no justification for using her and dragging her into my nonsense with this thing kind of thing, right? And um, I have no, like, um, I was using it because it was popular, okay? So I knew for a fact that video would get a lot of views. I knew that when before I did it, right? And I know that, I could provide a quality enough comment or content that it was be okay. I literally knew that. I, mean, I was thinking to myself, it's going to be 90% likes, 10% unlikes. People are going to be, uh, people are going to hop on, realize that it's one of my better videos and stay for the whole video. And people were saying things like, wow, um, thank you for disguising content as drama because I'm so drawn and pulled into drama. And obviously that's not right, right? I'm not, that, that is the wrong thing right you should just be looking for positive content out there um and and, and avoid that um vicky yeah thanks no i agree 100 percent. one of the dumbest things ever i did it that view has that video has over ten thousand views and it's and you have no idea people are like man this is good 
like why does this view have why does this video have so many dislikes it has like 100 dislikes um because obviously that is the wrong way to do youtube so um i tested it it works right if you guys want to um gain notoriety through other people you can but again this goes back to my um second thing that i want to talk about which is just um just speak about your own experience if you want to be pc right don't talk about other people just talk about your own experience um try to be as accurate as possible about what you're doing um and then let people judge what you do and that is the least dangerous way to do social media if you go online right and you say this is what i did this is what i found you're gonna still get haters because that's social media right people are gonna attack you no matter what they're gonna say i can't believe you did it that way but at least you don't have to bring and drag other people into the into the thing and that's what really got me thinking okay because um debbie my friend in real life right she was on a video with me where i talked about women of color extremely inappropriately and um dragged her into it okay so you know i also don't want to take down the video so people are like oh he's trying to hide something so i just left the video and i took her name off that's the best i can do for trying to eliminate um let people see it and make make their own opinion from it and then also not try to involve her because it it, it was ugly right so that's not the thing um no, I agree. I don't need that um, to get a, a following. Lots of people watch my content anyway, make positive stuff. That's why I wanted to make this third separate video, which is not reselling, right? So I have reselling videos. Now I have a new podcast, which is about just life. I was taking, I didn't know what it was going to be about. And now I know exactly what I want it to be about. Okay. So I want it to be about um, just our society in general, um, not try to be as non-confrontational as possible and just talk about my own personal experience and talk about mistakes that i made things i want to improve so that was already pretty crazy um and then last thing i want to talk about and it's, it's not to bring up any issues but i do want to go over um the salty old guy comment that i made towards chad um this was like uh i want to say a little over a year ago right so um chad uh, Craigslist Hunter, a bunch of these guys, or uh, Hearts Pickers, they made a, an event, right, in Chicago. Um, and I, I went to it, right? It was awesome. Tom or Tom gave me a, a $5 super chat. Appreciate that. Um, they made an event. I went to it. And um, I hosted an event. And um, I will, I'm will. i going to go ahead and go with this. They felt like I was riding on the coattails of their success. I'll go with it. That That's 100% my fault, right? I did an event at the same time the day before their event. Whether you agree with it or not, I did get some kind of benefit from that, from hosting it around the same time. Now, of course, I already have my own following. A lot of the people who went to my event were not the same people as the people who went to the resale rally, right? But that being said, right, I'm okay with saying that I capitalized on their their success to a certain degree, right? Because I did the event at the same time. Um, in my defense, I, I did ask them first, right, if it would be okay. So I didn't just set up an event right before their event okay there was no meeting with them before the event other than hanging out in the lobby in my defense we were flying out there they had a one-day event the day before i did a pizza party in in downtown chicago that's it that's this is what pizza gate was this is what which i also found out has a much worse connotation in a different thing okay that's a totally different situation okay that shouldn't have called a pizza gate because pizza gate is something else that involves pedophiles it's horrible right so that's not a that is not a thing. Okay. So don't call it that. But I put a pizza party before reseller rally and it caused some problems. It strained the relationship. I regret it 100% because there's no reason for me to have negative juju with Chad or um, Craigslist Hunter or Ronnie. Ronnie Hart tried his best to not get involved, but he got dragged into it. And I respect he can't like abandon his friend and like talk to me too much for whatever reason. So Anyway, I, I, I'll take this um, ex opportunity to apologize to Chad and those guys who are running the event. Um, not my not my cup of tea. I also made a video right after talking about how much I liked it, right? And um, the video talked about what I learned from the event. There were things I didn't like about the event, but those were not in the video. I just said, this is what I learned. Um, it was good. And it was, it was, it is what it is. So I um, went to the event, talked about what was good about it had a conversation with Chad and Chad said to me, Chris, 
you are allowed to be honest, right? You don't have to make only a video about the good stuff of our event. You are allowed to talk about the negative stuff. You can do both, okay? You don't have to censor yourself and only sit, talk about the good stuff. That was one of my criticisms when I started my YouTube channel because I have a sales background, right? So like me selling stuff is easy. I've sold cars before, which has also brought up a ton of, of uh, negative publicity because I have a car salesman background, right? I sold cars for Lexus here in California for four years, right? Sold over a thousand cars, love cars, know lots about cars, sold them. Um, I'm, I'm never really been shy about that either. Like that is in so many videos about me. He is a car salesman when I don't even, I don't even know what that is. Like that was like me a hundred percent. I'm a hundred percent transparent about that. Always. I have a background in sales. I love sales. I, I think I could make a, a podcast that's only sales and it would be fine. Right. So something I'm passionate about. It's interesting. Um, appreciate you, Paul, sticking in there with me. Um, it's just it's interesting looking at the um, Nitro or Nitro Betty is saying I should start my own platform. That is way too hard. It's amazing how that is. As you guys know, I, if you know, some of you know, I tried to start. I tried to make an app, um, tried to make an app that kept track of salespeople. Right. I'm in sales from sales. I wanted to have an app that tracked um, how many appointments you made, how many phone calls that you make. I wanted to basically combine all that information into an app. So a manager could be like, why are you not doing your job? Just focus on the numbers. Don't worry about drama or your life or being hungry. Just focus on the numbers and you're going to be doing just fine. That's what I wanted to make. I wanted to make an app that does that spent 80 grand. It did not work. Okay. So I have that experience in my life that, um, I think some of you know, I mentioned it in a few different videos, but making, making an app was extremely difficult. That was a, if you build it, they will come moment that doesn't exist in reselling. Okay, when you buy something um, to resell, you can get an idea if it's gonna sell before you buy it, before you take it home. Okay, so that is the, um, the nice thing about reselling. You can kind of get an idea. Uh, let's see, business is business. Emotions make friends, not money. Yeah, it is tough. Um, and thank you for reaching out on uh, YouTube. I mean, I'm sorry, on Facebook. I will respond back shortly. Um, yeah, I'm just I'm just trying to own up. So whatever I did in the past in the last year, if I have offended you, um, please you're welcome to put to comment in the chat section below. The one thing that um, the one thing that I will ask is to not be salacious, right? So so I'm gonna remove comments that talk about the president or something that's really off par if you have a negative opinion towards me i'll probably leave it but if it's as long as it's not ridiculous okay so yeah it's tough it's tough to moderate most of the time i don't moderate i do not have a filter i'm not approving these so if you guys see a negative comment and it takes me two days to get to it it is what it is i, I i'm not going to uh, manage it um uh, hip flip and mama thank you for coming um Let's see. Your husband is a used car lot owner. It's a reseller business and shouldn't be looked down upon. It, it is looked down upon. So it is what it, for me, I, I, I can see it. Okay. I've been a car salesman. People have looked down to it, uh, down upon it before. Like, like for example, um, let me give you an example. I sold the car to a doctor, a Lexus $90,000 car, right? And he said to me, Chris, you're a great car salesman, but what do you really want to do? Right, as if like that's not a good enough occupation. That was like an insanely good opera. If you guys want to make um, six figures, selling cars is a great way to do it. If you sell Highline and you are good at customer service, you will build a book of business over a few years and and usually make six figures because cars are expensive. It's a very 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 high ASP. I was getting six hundred dollars profit per car on average, right? Versus five dollars sometimes for a piece of clothing, as low as five. So. Um, let's see that, that is a question. So like this, this is, Im this is important, um, to, um, bring, this is a relevant topic. So the video that I, that caused me to get uninvited from posh fest was a month ago. Um, that was the main reason. Um, and it was in the video, I said, um, something like black women like to buy from white fashionistas along those lines, right? I'm not trying to like cause a whole bunch of drama, but along those lines, right? And it was based on a poll that people think I did not take, okay? And to give you guys an idea of the store that I'm trying to model, I'm, I'm gonna pull it up for a second. Not, not that it matters um, because 
you may not believe me, but this is the, um, I'm gonna pull this up really quick. Okay. Um, let me know in the chat if you guys can see my screen. I think you can. Uh, oh, this is me with the shirt. I pulled it up earlier so people could see the first part of the video. Okay, so let me pull up the chat. If you guys can see this real quick, let me know. Can you guys see my screen? If you can see my screen, I'm gonna go over Gabby's bags. Um, hopefully you guys can see. I just wanna confirm before I go into it for a second, because this is the store that caused the controversy and I just wanna go over it. Okay, so this is Gabby's bags. Um, Gabby's bags, um, this company does $300,000 per month. It's a multi-million dollar store. Um, so Loretta, like, this is an incredible store. Okay, so you're looking at um, Gabby's bags. Um, you type it into Google. Okay, it's it's crazy. They sell on Poshmark. They sell on eBay. They have their own website. They sell on Amazon. They sell on Sears. They sell on Walmart. It is incredible. Okay, she has fantastic feedback. She does a hundred thousand dollars on eBay, guys. Look at her ASP. It's insane. It's super duper duper high. Okay, yes, the margins might be low, right? But we're looking at a lady that sells a minimum. Or I don't know if it's a lady, a person, a company that sells up to. 1,000 items um, per month with really, really high ASP. This is a seven-figure store. That's just eBay, okay? On Poshmark, killing it. And I really like this, okay? So my poll said, who would you hire to do this, okay? And so it's not important to talk about the results of the poll, but that's where I got in trouble, okay? So just wanna be transparent and let you guys know what I am trying to build. I love this. I love that the, she... This I'm sorry. This person has um, these. This look is is amazing. It's a white background, but it's modeled, right? And I thought um, I don't know what um, race this person is, but maybe people in the chat can guess what race do you think this person is. Not that it matters, but that is the that's what I was asking. And when I saw this, it really blew my mind because look how neutral it is. Um, Gabby, you don't know. Um, you you don't know that name could be anything, right? And if you look on Twitter, um, right, the, the name of it is Gabby is just a college girl who loves fashion and spotting deals from designer boutiques. Um, and this is the store on Sears. So we're talking about 500 items on multiple platforms. Uh, 500 items on multiple platforms, right? Glenn is saying Asian. I don't know. I'm just saying, but that, that's the thing. So like this... This store, um, I apologize for saying she, I don't know if it's a she, it could be a guy. It's just a person, um, a person's store. This store does $300,000 per month. That's a lot. That's a few million dollars with only 500 items. And I really, really, really liked the, um, I like the uh, setup, right? I think it's cool. Um, if you look at the, the way it's set up, it was one of the things that, I liked about Poshmark. I like the staging, right? I like the staging. I like the live model. I thought it was cool. So that's a very interesting topic. That's a three hundred thousand dollar per year company. Okay, that's incredible. So they have it cross this listed somehow on every website. It's everywhere, and and they they must merchant fulfill the items, right? I just thought it was incredible. So you have um, a person. Um, Gabby's bags and this is an incredible store and I got a lot of flack too because I said um, I'm trying to copy a six-figure store per month on Poshmark and I got all this heat people saying no one does six figures on Poshmark and I don't have time like I can't clarify that I'm talking about on multiple platforms okay this person has the same listings on eBay they do a hundred thousand dollars a month just eBay but Poshmark they're killing it and you can see if you compare the prices, they're slightly higher on Poshmark, which is amazing, right? So this is the exact situation, um, and it's tough. Just got to be careful. Can't say. Um, I just want to be as neutral as I can. Hopefully, I went over everything in this first episode with you guys. All the mistakes I made, um, which I'll, I'll summarize for you guys. I wore a Confederate flag in a picture. Uh, didn't Did not even realize that it was offensive because I picked it up at a garage sale that same day. The girl I was with and the interview guest did not point it out to me. Not that it's their fault. I should know that it's potentially the most offensive shirt ever. Um, but that is, that happened. Um, 
I have, I had that poll. Um, I had, uh, I talked about vegans increasing a, your cup size, which, um, I get it. That's like wrong on a whole bunch of different levels. So won't be mentioning that stuff anymore. Um, I use Nicole state as clickbait, right? So, um, that I have tried it a few times, actually, not just, not just clickbait. I've put Bugatti, Ferrari, BMW, IA. I've tried all that stuff just at the end of my title for no reason. Um, so it is what it is right there. If you guys um, appreciate me trying to be clean, trying to let you guys know what I'm doing, um, and you believe that I'm trying to be a better person, I would appreciate a like. If you don't think so, and you think this is all sham, um, please hit the negative or the, the thumbs down button. But I do want to end this show with um, one thought, which is um, there's a gentleman that says that this entire thing, my reselling, um, my YouTube channel, my mastermind group is just an elaborate scheme to hit on married women. Right. So that, that, that's, that's a new one. Like I, I didn't consider that being, um, I didn't see that one coming. That is not my MO. If, if my MO was the hit on married women, there's more, there's a more direct way of doing that. I wish I was that sophisticated. And I had that kind of a, a crazy plan, but that is, that is not the plan. Um, that is not the plan guys. So hopefully you guys believe me. If you do think that that's, that was my plan all along, let me know, but that doesn't really make sense because I have, I literally just bought a wedding ring. So like, I'm not, I'm, I'm ready to be just with one person. So I don't know. I, I don't think that's really the issue. Um, yeah, that may be, that maybe is a little bit reaching, but that, that is the thing. All right, guys. So I appreciate your time. Um, this is episode number one. If you guys like this content, please let me know. I will do my normal reselling stuff, but once a week for my own sanity, I would like to talk about just, uh, normal stuff. Um, normal stuff, just being how politically charged our world is. Wanted to apologize to all the people I've hurt and offended and been insensitive to over the past year of doing YouTube. Um, I was going to give this up and just um, resell full time, but um, it is a significant income, um, which I've been transparent with you guys uh, all from the beginning. It does make a lot. So that plus um, I do charge for consulting. So if you guys are looking for help on building your, your side hustle, let me know. Um, and I will try not to be derogatory towards any people, which I have been. Okay, There's been almost no person left out from me being some kind of uh, bias. So appreciate you guys' time. Um, I wish I could have met some of you guys in Dallas, but it's okay. Um, hopefully I can go around to some different events, meet some different people. Hope everyone's having a great day. Take care. Please like and subscribe. Peace.